In this Revit tutorial, I am going to explain you how you can create those slope walls like they are done on this fire station building in Germany. So, I am going to use Revit 2024, uh, it's a metric multidisciplinary template and let's just break down the geometry. So, as you could see, look like that this slope here as well as this one here are the same. So, the first thing which I am going to do will be to create this part of the walls here. And in order to do so, the first thing which I'm going to do in Revit will be to check the name of this reference plane, so it's center north south. And then I'm going to use a model line tool. We'll make this as a 30 meters. My units are in millimeters. Let's just create a 3D view and I will get rid of those code boxes. So now, to create it, I will go to Component, Model in Place, and we'll take a Walls as a category. I will take a Sweep tool, and for a sketch path for a work plane, I'm going to pick this North-South. And let's say that our wall has a height of 6.5 meters. Confirm the path, and let's go to the plan view to create a profile. And as you could see, this one is look like 45 degrees, while this one is different. So this first angle I'm going to make, let's say, to be 2 meters. I would like to be precise. And then 2 meters here, which makes 45 degrees angle. And just be aware right now, I'm going to make the offset of 200. So let's say that that's the thickness of our wall. And I'm going to make a trim here. So I'm going to close the profile to look like this. So the closing, the ends of the profiles are not going to be perpendicular to the profile uh, shape. Instead, they are going to be perpendicular to our reference plane. So the first part is done. Now I will just create the south elevation. And again, I will go to the plane view. I will need south elevation later on, you will see. So now I'm going to make one more wall using model in place tool as well. This one will be named as a wall too. And then I will take in this case extrusion tool. And let's say that I would like to go four meters here. We know that the two meters is a, let's say depth. I will take offset of 200 it's here sorry and now i'm going to close the profile the same way like i did for the sweep profile so it's going to be perpendicular to the reference plane and let's make the height of six and a half because that's the height we have our sweep and now i need the south elevation so, what I need to do, I mean, because as you could see, we have something here and it's not done. So, what we have to do right now is to create the void form. So, I will create the void extrusion, north-south for the reference plane. And we'll start from here. We'll go here. It can go up a little bit. It's not a problem. And let's just trim this. Now I will just extend it a little bit so you see it's fine and let's repeat the same process for the sweep element. So select it, go edit in place and then create void extrusion form with the reference plane or south. But in this case we just need to go to the opposite side so we need to go down. Extend it a little bit, so you see it's cut it, and as you could see, it looked like very well from the exterior side, but from the interior side we have some kind of gap here, and in order to fix it, you need to select this extrusion tool, just go to edit in place, and then take a line tool, hover the mouse over the edge, and then uh, press the tab key until you get this line. 
select it and then select this face finish model and you are done and you see how this look clean and well so you saw how the process of modeling this is simple and i really hope that you are going to find this useful if so please just like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to share our videos with your friends